get ready to move and next month. And they divorced. And so she's been here all these years by herself. And she's very independent. And, and you know, she's uh, really kept it up nice. Some of the stuff's not coming from YouTube and stuff. Some of the So that's the polybutylene. See the great pipes right there? That's got to get replaced when you buy it. Sorry, there's a lot of people in here for the open house. So I'm not going to be able to talk too much, but here's your garage. Two car garage again, flat roof on the top. You have the exterior exit from your garage right here. There's your HVAC and your heat pump that's over there. Obviously I can't get over there, so I can't find out the exact age of it. Um, but there's your water heater. But a good, nice bump out right here, which is great. Walk back in through the kitchen. That is a, don't know the, it's not a Federal Pacific, so that's not going to be an issue for your insurance. So this kind of looks out into this little living room that's over here. Yes, they do. That's right. How's it going? How are you doing? Colin with Keller Williams. Yes. Talk just How are you? Yeah, no, doing well. Your clients here? So we're not, you're making tomorrow. So okay. I just told him I'd come get a video for him, walk him through it. So well, please feel free to Absolutely. do it. If you have any questions. Let okay. Me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Yeah. Colin, do you have a card with you? I do. Yeah, I got it. There you go, right there. Awesome. Rick is my nickname. Absolutely. It's a nice little fireplace sitting area. It is a flat roof, so exterior walls, things like that, to be able to pull down. Um, you'd have to get a contractor in here to see what would structurally hold the walls. Nice double pane, sliding glass doors. So here's your backyard. Again, then the, the woman that's lived here has lived her whole life. So it stays really true to where it is. So this is your corner on your street here in the pines. But obviously, as you can see, there's a white vinyl fence here that you could lift this up if you guys wanted to do that. But it is a tar and gravel roof that would have to be replaced before you got insurance. Nice large backyard if you wanted to put a pool in. Only problem is you do have power lines coming from here to the house. So you'd have to relocate that to the other side to be able to put a pool in because current code won't allow that. Again. Sorry. Yeah. Again, right off the kitchen, you've got this nice little seated area into the dining room. These nice parishions here, partitions, obviously aren't structural to the house. Terrazzo will come through all the way. You guys see it's a really nice little color, but it's also a really good foundation if you wanted to put something else on top of it, but it is a really nice material. I get a new window there. That is still an original slider behind these curtains. There's your front door and I'll walk you out so you can see the front. So this looks like a Terrazzo with some inlay in it, so it looks really nice here, but it is a different terrazzo from here to the kitchen, as you can see kind of the difference. No, I did not. If you're looking in the 
Go ahead, excuse me. That's all right. Oops. That's all right. Good fat man. So, howdy, howdy. Oops, excuse me. So, I thought you were going to say that you were going to say So, we'll start here in the back. Okay, the window. Decent sized room here. Closet's a nice size as well. A linen closet. So again, that's all softened, all of that can be taken out. This is all soffit as well right here if you wanted to raise this, obviously. So here's your master, I believe. Yep. So we got another set of sliders that goes out to a little screen porch. Those are brand new. Um, decent sized master, I would say. That's probably a queen, potentially. Yeah, I'd say it's a queen. But you can see the heavy furniture that they do have in here. So you definitely have the space for a king if you wanted it. Bifold doors into the bathroom. Again, brand original bathroom that's in here that goes into a step-in shower and toilet right here and you do have the door right here that goes outside so if you were to put a pool or something like that you have the ability to do that and then you do have a little walk-in closet here with some looks like that is an old attic access that is sealed shut so or an old sunroof that may have been in there Let me show you the exterior of the home real quick. Again, sorry, there's a lot of people here, so you get this nice little modern entry, like again, mid-century modern. Walk up to the home. On a corner lot. Here's your neighborhood around. Again, right in the heart of Winter Park Pines. I've sold a few houses up this way on the backside all around this area. But your right Brookshire is right over here. That's Katie Way. It's kind of your backside all the way down. So again, tar and gravel roof, polybutylene plumbing, and again, potentially, I'm gonna assume that the HVAC is a little bit older as well. Here's cutting the other side with your neighbors there. But again, very, very unorthodox looking home, obviously mid-century modern. You don't see these pop up very often here in the pines. I mean, as this is an original owner to this home. So it looks like she's taking really good care of it. It's just functionally, you're gonna have some stuff that you're gonna have to mechanically open for it. But something like this is obviously very hard to find in the pines, this kind of entry into what you've got over there. But the home itself, Four bed, two bath, 
1,843 square feet.